Hey, this is Tyler from rent -Coop, and here's a quick video on how to set up your 64 ounce small animal water bottle. So you can see I'm installing this on the outside of a cage and I put the tab to lift up the top on the opposite side that I put the elbow and the nipple. And that'll help with refilling. So the next thing you'll do is take your spring clip and clip it from the bottom. That makes it a lot easier to get on. And while I'm doing this, notice the height that I placed the bottle at. Rabbits and other small animals have an easier time drinking if the nipple is above their heads. So once you have your water bottle attached, you'll fill it up with water and you can see the level rising, which is a nice addition. This allows you to see how much water is left in the container. All right, next we have what happens if after a while or even sometimes in the beginning, my rabbit water bottle is dripping. So the first thing you do is you tap it 20, 30 times or clear it of all the water after you fill it up, clear it in the sink, and it should work just fine. Um, if that doesn't work after the cleaning, and you can see I'm taking apart how the nipple is taken apart and how it works. Um, if it doesn't stop the drip, you can install the extra nipple right away and you can do that with a pair of pliers or an adjustable wrench. So here I'm going to show you both ways. Um, there are parts of the nipple that are flat. You can see I'm grabbing those with the plier. And after you get about one full twist, uh, the rest of the way can be done by hand pretty easily. So here I am doing the rest by hand. You can see it's the same nipple as the extra nipple that we placed in the packaging and you want to clean those two parts off and you can see I did it upside down here but you want to clean the two parts of metal that touch um, wash them off make sure there's no goo make sure no dirt from the water got in and then you can insert your new nipple about 80 percent of the way by hand and then the last couple turns you can use an adjustable wrench and you can see here how if you twist it too far I'm going to push on uh, the little metal part of the nipple and it, it doesn't go in all the way. It just barely moves and that means the nipple is too far in. And at this point, no water will come out. So if that's the case, you want to take it back about one and a half rotations and then it'll work. Now the nipple goes about half the distance to the metal. You can see it's moving about a quarter of an inch there and that is good and now you have a new nipple that should not drip okay that's it hope you enjoyed this video hope it was helpful and thank you for supporting our small family business